Hey YouTube, Savandras here. Today I'm back with more mobile art news. Today we have updates for Procreate and CaliPeg, which is a 2D animation app for the phone and tablets. I'm gonna start off with CaliPeg's updates and you can also use the timestamps in the description to skip and check any updates for Procreate. Real quick, if you like these videos, just drop a comment and I can do a bi-weekly roundup of these type of news videos so you guys can always just check in. So first off, we have CaliPeg, which is actually now coming to Android, which is great. So now it's not just locked off to iOS users so you guys can go ahead and enjoy some animation. There's currently a public beta running on Android and the plan for CaliPeg's team is to launch CaliPeg officially on Android in early 2025. Moving on, CaliPeg is actually also getting a new pricing method. Going forward, CaliPeg will now be a one-time purchase. No more subscriptions, which is great. I love when there's no subscription and you can just buy everything outright. So now you can officially purchase CaliPeg for $15 instead of $50 as a one-time purchase. And it also will give you a discount, as you can see on the screen, if you are already paying for a subscription. This is a great app to check out. It actually was one of the first serious animation apps on a tablet. It has motion tweening, great drawing capabilities. You can animate live during your playback. It has a great radio wheel for speeding up your animation process by giving you some shortcuts, which is something we don't see on mobile all too often. I also believe this was the first animation app to put in the three finger gesture where you can just flip through your animation. So that was great and very forward thinking. It's a great app. You should check it out. And they also have CaliPeg Mini, which is either two or three dollars for your iPhone. I'm going to link everything in the description. It's a full animation suite for the iPhone. It has all the same features as CaliPeg for the most part. It just has a different UI and it can be a little bit cluttered if you're on a small phone, but it's still real animation at your fingertips on a phone, which is amazing. And you can use it as a tool to flip through your animation by connecting it to CaliPeg on the tablet. So hopefully they add more functionality to that, but it's actually pretty fun to use. Going forward, we have new Procreate updates that align with the video I made previously on Procreate updates that we'll be seeing throughout this year and next year. So today we finally got the ability to not only group, but we can finally ungroup our layers, which is something we should have had a while ago, but I'm still glad to see it happen. We also got some bug fixes, which you can read on screen. And going forward, they state that they're well into their Brush Studio update that they're planning to release later this year. This isn't a huge update, but it's good to see that Procreate is actually getting updates like they promised this year, as it's really late in the year and they never disclose when they're dropping an update. Finally, we have a new Photoshop competitor, which might be getting support from Apple. Apple recently signed a deal to acquire Pixelmator Pro. Pixelmator Pro is a streamlined photo editing app which allows vector usage so you can also create graphics directly with your photos. Additionally, Pixelmator is also directly integrated into photo apps on Apple devices. It has a nice UI like Keynote and I feel like it's good for beginners though I haven't used it myself. If you want to jump in, they already have two apps for the iPad, Pixelmator and Photomator. You can also get Pixelmator Pro on the Mac. That's all for today's news cycle. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. And if you would like this series to continue on a more regular basis, just drop a comment to let me know. That's it. Have a good one.